This is one of the places that we come all the time, enjoyed the beach. Nalina Sharma walks by the water here at Short Beach in Stratford any chance she gets. So it's one of the places that is very, very safe. It's nice to see a lot of children, families, the gathering, and there is hardly any incidents that we've heard occurred on this beach. Except for Monday night, when Sharma says she saw hundreds of teenagers taking over the beach. They were very rowdy, you know, as you go down the streets there, and you wonder what they were doing, playing and fighting with each other. Moments later, police showed up, seeing the crowd drinking and acting out. And they wouldn't leave the beach, and they um, were assaulting each other and accosting each other verbally. And the police called in mutual aid, and they decided to shut the beach down. A short time later, Mayor Laura Hoydick says the group shut down Main Street and ended up in the Wendy's parking lot, getting kicked out of there, too. And we want people to enjoy the natural resources, but we just want everybody to be safe while they're doing it. And when Hoydick says police noticed another post on Tuesday on social media with another gathering planned at the beach, they shut it down by 4 p.m. Several residents thanked us for closing down the beach. A similar thing, Hoydick says, happened last year during spring break. And as the weather warms up, they'll be checking beach stickers and cracking down on this type of behavior. If you want to gather, you're always welcome to gather, but don't do it in a proper manner. Don't assault anyone. Don't be verbally abusive. Uh, and just enjoy the beach and let people enjoy it too. All as locals hope their beach remains peaceful. Kids are going to be out of school. Yeah. And where do they go for recreation? They'll go to the parks. Now, the mayor says she's not aware of any arrests made here at Short Beach Monday night, but you may remember a similar situation happened at the same time, the same night over in West Haven, only to a much larger and more violent scale. In that scenario, 12 people were arrested. Now, at this time, police are not connecting the two incidents. We are in Stratford, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.